really happy. And I think one of the ideas is that you know, voice kind of turns uh, what we say like listeners into drivers. So we want everyone in Sonos, Sonos in their home, to be able to control and play back music. But a lot of times, like children, have a lot of issues using our app. You have to be able to read, for one thing. So if you're a three or four year old, you might not be able to do that. Uh, and then it's difficult to find what you're looking for. But with voice, we actually find that it's a great way for children to be able to play what they want. So like, especially, uh, we've noticed in our labs, we, we, like, we go out to the real world, we bring people in, we try things out, we sort of see how people live with this technology. And so children love asking the Sonos system to play a, a Frozen soundtrack over and over and over again. Um, and so there's some questions you have to do when you build a voice interface for children. One is that their voices are a higher pitch. So it's kind of, you have to build the voice recognition technology so they can capture their voice. And then also a lot of times children don't enunciate very well. Or they might call the name of something differently than what you're supposed to call it. And so that's part of what you can build in the voice interface, is you can understand how to deal differently for different types of listeners in the home. And build different 